For this video, we're going to talk about testing for nitrate. Now, it's important to understand when we talk about nitrate in the water or nitrogen, a lot of times your teacher may use those terms interchangeably, but nitrate is what we're testing for right now. In your test kit, you're going to find two chemicals you're going to be using along with another color comparator and some sample tubes. And it's important to remember the color comparator this time, compared to maybe some of your other kits, is pink. And it also does not require light from above uh, to get your test accurate. We want to talk about the lab equipment. Um, in the instructions, it says fill to the bottom line. There is no line clearly marked other than the marker you see on this tube. The bottom line is the bottom of the shaded area that you're looking at in this particular sample tube right there. So you're going to fill it up to there, and that would be appropriate amount of sample water. Now the first step uh, is to rinse your test tube in sample water. So you're simply just going to put some sample water in it and then pour it back out to get any remaining chemicals or samples out. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and fill up your sample A and your sample B uh, to the line as indicated. To get your sample water, you're going to add nitrovir 6 to your samples. After you do that, you'll need to wait approximately 3 minutes. Now, in our bags, we've marked them 1 and 2 to help our students out, but it's important that you look for nitrovir 6 and get the proper chemical first. Once those are poured in, then we'll wait three minutes and then continue our test. Important to note that while you're waiting for that three minutes, you also need to shake uh, the container. So go ahead and get a timer and start it for three minutes, and then you can go ahead and mix in your tubes for that time. This is helpful to have a couple students, one to man the timer and a couple to mix in the process. After the three minutes of mixing, you're going to let the test tube set for 30 seconds. At this phase in the directions, you're going to be looking for particles of unoxidized cadmium metals. This is a hazardous material and it'll be very obvious if it's in there. Most of the time we don't find those particles, so if you don't see anything, it's okay. The next step is going to be adding nitrovir 3. You're going to put that in samples A and B and go ahead and mix for another 30 seconds. So after that, you're going to go ahead and allow the test tubes to rest for at least 10 minutes, but no more than 20 minutes. While you're waiting, you're going to get some untreated sample water and set it into your extra sample tube up to the black line or the bottom of the tube and set it into the hole on the outer left side of the comparator. After you've waited your 10 minutes, you're going to go ahead and take sample A and put it into the empty slot in the color comparator. Now we're going to go ahead and use our color comparator to get our results. It is helpful to look towards a light source to get your results. And you'll notice on the left hand side we have our untreated sample water and on the right hand side we have our sample water that we've treated. You're going to go ahead and turn the wheel until we get matching colors in both windows. And once that happens, you will read uh, at the needle here uh, your final results, and that will be in milligrams per liter, and you will report that uh, to your data collector for your group. Repeat this test for sample B and report those results, and then once you're finished, you can use your waste container to empty out all materials, and don't forget to rinse out your test tubes and clean up and return everything uh, in the same way you found it.